Welcome to one of the coolest hotel rooms in the world. <laughs> I just found this magnifying glass over there. How random is this? Is this is like a woolly mammoth tooth? Or a shark tooth or something? No, it can't be a shark tooth, right? Anyway, so this room is known as the Hardwood Suite. This is at the Palms Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, and the Palms is really well known for having some of the best, most unique hotel rooms in the world. In addition to this one with a b-ball court, there's one with a movie theater, one with a bowling alley. They have, I think, the most expensive room in the world, period. So we are gonna be staying here for the night, guys. It's gonna be an awesome experience. We have a lot planned as well. We're gonna be touring some of those other rooms. We're gonna be showing you the casino, showing you some of the restaurants. We're gonna have some pool action too. And obviously we're gonna have some basketball. surprise us with some packages. We also got a note. It says, the only thing hard about the game of life should be the floor that you dribble on. Ooh. Thanks, Palms. So upstairs, we have a lot of cool stuff. We have the pool table, Connect Four, poker table, poker chips, and custom poker cards from the Palms. And then we have this unique attraction right here. This unique installation was created so that basketball players who stayed in the suite could take their professional player shots. And honestly, it's a great opportunity for anyone to take a photo. Look how cool this is, look. Also, totally forgot, there's another bedroom up here. We just got back from lunch and I recruited Danny here. I, I wanted to sh get some subscribers to experience the room, so Danny was in town, he popped over. We're gonna play a little game of one-on-one. -on -one. This little device controls the scoreboard here, so Greta's gonna be taking care of that. All right, timer's up. 10 minutes we're gonna play. So Kingpin's got the bowling alley. Oh my god. I think we messed up, Greta. Wait, can we? <laughs> this room is sick. Okay, <laughs> so we're on a tour now seeing some other amazing rooms. This is the Kingpin Suite. It has the bowling alley here. I think Greta and I might have messed up as much as we love the room we have, the hardwood. I mean, this room is insane. Look, look at these bunk beds. Look at the, look at that. Oh my God, they have shoes. Nice, that was pretty good.
moving on from the beautiful Kingpin room, we are now in the cinema room. Look at this room. Cinema. Who wants to see the most expensive hotel room in the world? Alright, we're gonna quickly sneak in some foosball here. Come on, let's go. You ready? I, honestly, I feel like I'm gonna break it. Come on. You ready? One. I feel like I'm leaving it. Two. Wait! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Exercise room. <laughs> so, this is the secret room here. It's the Himalayan salt room. We just got back from the tour. Now it's time to watch the NHL playoffs. My Rangers are playing right now, and we could not have picked a better place to watch the game, honestly. So, with this tablet right here, this controls all the TVs, all the audio, so pretty much the entire hotel suite. Every room in the bathrooms, everything will play the audio, whatever program is on the TV. And right now, it's hockey. So we have the Ranger game on like 10 different TVs throughout this suite. So we got back and then this was here. <laughs> Can I cut it? Yeah, you cut it. Let's eat it. Let's go, Cake and Rangers, what is happening? <laughs> this is so cool. Which TV do I look at? That one's kind of far. This so one, this one, this one. All right, second period's over. Rangers are ahead 3-2, so that's good. During intermission, though, we're going to play some basketball. <laughs> so we're going to get change at the locker room. OK, guys, so this way is the bathroom for the b-ball players, so. Multiple showers. Nice, three toilets and two showers, that's awesome. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> that was my warm up, come on. And here's the court. Dinner time. Tonight we're having Asian for dinner. The restaurant is called Tim Ho Wan. Tim Ho Wan. Hi. This one? So we were just told that this restaurant is something 
known as a dim sum restaurant. And basically that just means that they serve food in smaller quantities in the hopes that you kind of order a bunch of different things and you, you share it. And they have a lot of different things on the menu, so it makes sense. We're ordering, I think, six or so different items. So one of their signature items here is the baked barbecue pork buns. It's the first thing you see on the menu. Apparently, it's very popular here and uh, it's also award winning. That's what they said. It's won awards. Here it is, their signature bun. Woo. I don't understand how this thing is so good. <laughs> but my god. Mm. Best thing we've had so far, by far. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize how big this lobster was gonna be. It's two and a half pounds. I thought it was like maybe a claw. I'm not complaining. <laughs> so we're heading back to the room right now. We have a bunch of friends coming over. We're gonna have some fun. This is just a normal room, kind of in the back here. Got some stuff on the wall. Bookshelf over here, right? Just the bookshelf. <laughs> Ta -da. They call this the whiskey room. Essentially, the idea of it is if you're having a party in this room and you want just kind of a private, intimate hangout spot where you can just be you know, not found, I guess. <laughs> you can go in this room and play some chess, uh, watch the TV, chat, whatever you want to do, you know. Hi. Hello, peeps. Hi, chat. Hey, you made it. Yeah, What's up, bro? Nice to officially meet you. What's up? Yeah, you come. Good to see everybody. <laughs> You're so mature, I love it. <laughs> did you get that? I did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would do it. How, how is it? Uh, it's all right, you know. After a couple of tequila shots, it's not too bad. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, what do you say? Is it time to play 2v2? You down? morning y'all last night was pretty fun just kind of hung out with a bunch of friends played some b-ball played some poker I forgot to point this out nice <laughs> ready yeah. gotta close this up <laughs> just a quick game of chess here I think I might have checkmate is this checkmate? Uh, hmm. All right, I uh, got my swim trunks on. We're heading down to the pool. We have a cabana. I think it's like 90 degrees or something outside too, so it's nice and hot. Cabana day. Now we have TV, art, we have a couch, a couple more seating areas, and then this one. <laughs> Oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a cabana on the first level, which is awesome. But the cooler cabanas 
are up here actually, and they come with their own infinity pool. I've met here, so make sure to say hi to her if you come. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So we just left the pool. We have to check out. We have literally eight minutes left before checkout. Our room is down here, down the hallway on the third floor. And if you see the sign, the studio is over here. I don't think I showed you guys. So third floor, it only has one room, the hardwood suite but they also have the recording studio where six Grammy award winning songs have been recorded right inside this room right here. Studio at the Palms. Unbelievable. <laughs> all right, so thank you guys for watching first of all. I understand that I didn't really talk about the Palms Hotel and the Casino too much outside of the amazing hardwood suite and the few other suites we toured. So let's take the time to do that now. So first of all, Palms, what really struck us was the amount of food they have here. They have a lot of food options. So in, in addition to the restaurant we went to, they have a awesome buffet, they have a food court, which is really cool to see, and they have a number of awesome restaurants. They have a pizzeria for late night pizza vibes. <laughs> so you don't really have to venture out away from this hotel if you don't want to. Obviously you have the casino portion with the table games, a lot of slots, things like that. But they also have a really cool nightclub and they have a really cool bar that's a speakeasy type bar. First room is a arcade room with a couple cool arcade games and then you open up that refrigerator and then you go back and it's this awesome bar. Pool's great, they have a movie theater which is really awesome too. Probably the only hotel casino with a movie theater on like not on the strip but in the strip area I, I think I'm pretty sure Red Rock and some other places off the strip have movie theaters which is awesome but you're gonna have to kind of travel pretty far from the strip so that's definitely a plus the last thing I will say is that they have a fantastic standard room there for an affordable price one of the best standard rooms we've ever seen for sure and at an affordable price definitely take that in consideration if you're trying to be in the strip area but you want a really nice room for for cheap the san manuel tribe who owns the palms really cares about customer service so uh i truly mean that too everyone uh we worked with or experienced during our stay was just above and beyond nice. I want to give a shout out to Romeo. He works at the VIP and he kind of, he brought us to the room and he was really helpful. So a shout out to Romeo, really cool guy and everyone else, just amazing staff. So thank you guys for hooking up the room, by the way. Um, that's amazing. We're going to try to do some other rooms there as well in the future because they just have some really fun experiential type rooms. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Love y'all.